own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross all right, let me explain this this situation here. So first of all, we're starting off right here with this Steam Deck. This is the LCD Steam Deck rocking our very own Mark 7 backplate. And the reason why this bad boy is on the Mark 7 backplate because this is on Windows and it is overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz, 2200 on a GPU and a 22 watt TDP. This boy is chugging. And the reason why I did that even though I can run OBS on Linux, it's just easier to do things on Windows, in my opinion, and because of the overclock, that helps a uh, better feed all together. So from there, our first dongle, the main dongle, uh, Anchor 757, we have uh, on our USB port, we have a dongle city. We have our wireless mouse, keyboard, um, microphone, and camera on this Sabrent one. Uh, also, we have an ethernet plugged in. We have a PD in two from our power source down there. Then another dongle here, USB-C dongle going to two USB-C ports and that goes into our capture card. This plugs into our camera because this capture card is plugged into, follow it, follow it, this dongle. And this is another anchor, uh, 353 or something like that. Um, we have PDN on this one. Uh, it's important to, to have PDN on this one as well because that's how you're gonna get power to what we're actually streaming off, which is the OLED Steam Deck. And that's it. And then the cameras and stuff. So what's happening is we're getting footage from the Steam Deck. We are putting it in this little bump out right here. And so people can see a clean footage. Um, and then this footage right here is from this camera right here. Um, and the reason why we're getting footage from from here this little bump out is because you can't really see what's going on on the screen because of the camera and that's the main reason why we needed an external display so to do this to get this display right here that little display you need to have your the steam deck you're streaming off of needs to be on desktop mode because only in desktop mode can you pull this picture through a capture card. You can't pull, you, what, if you were to not be on desktop node and you were supposed to pull this capture, this screen would be completely blank. So you would not get this footage that you see right here from this camera, because this screen would be completely blank and then your footage would be up here. So if you put it on desktop mode and you attach it to external monitor, you can get a footage right here um, and then you can size this however way you want and you have a clean footage from this and then you'll also have your quote unquote dirty footage and from uh, the camera and that's how you do it. Pretty simple. And there you go. That's how you attach a Steam Deck to a Steam Deck to stream online. Yes, it's a lot of facts. You need essentially three dongles, four dongles, um, because there's not enough USB ports. You need two of them to have a, a PDN minimum of 65 watts. Uh, I would suggest the main one be a 10 gigabyte one, but I think you can get away with a five gigabyte um, dongle. And you need a capture card and an external monitor and, and a camera if you want you know, actually don't need you could just pull st the footage from your steam deck to there you don't even need a camera you don't even need a mic really but if you have one it's always better than the internal mic inside the steam deck and that's it that's all you need to do but here's the fun thing you don't even need two steam decks this thing is running windows so anything that's running windows that has decent in C uh, cpu gpu built into it can encode for twitch any amd 5 series g laptops can do it really well and 7g laptops can do it very well i don't know if the intels can do it very well but i i know the 5g ones and the 7g cpus can do it pretty well you can do it on macbooks really easily especially if you have the, uh, the m chips there they're great they work well for twitch encoding and the the funny thing is you don't even need anything you could you could twitch stream on your steam deck and to do that actually twitch stream on your steam deck all you would actually need is a dongle and an external display and that's about it 
Um, and the only reason you need the external display is to see your Twitch feed and to see your chat or vice versa. You could put your chat and your Twitch stream on a Steam Deck and then you could show your 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 uh, actual gameplay on your on your display. It's uh, you could do it all. I wouldn't suggest it. It's going to be really poor quality, but you can do it. And I think that's where I think what I've learned from um, this testing and filming this video is that the Steam Decks are extremely capable devices extremely capable devices and i even come down to the realization right now as i'm talking to you my dear viewers this thing is more capable than any low-end laptops you can buy in the market right now meaning if you go to best buy or on the internet and you were to search laptops under the 500 dollars range i will suggest that the steam deck does a better job than that so with that said now that everyone's transitioning out of the LCD Steam Deck, maybe move into the OLED or one of the newer devices like the Ally or the Lenovo Legion, and you're in need of a second secondary computer of some kind, I highly suggest just buying a Steam Deck to do that because it's so easy to put windows on it the only real issue you have on it is connectivity you're you're stuck to one usb but if you're just you're okay with rocking a dongle you're not needing to hook up multiple cameras to it then you can get away with a lot with just the steam deck this uh, you have a big shout out to valve again for creating a device that's so utilitarian it is crazy and don't forget you can still attach a gpu to it if you need extra horsepower which I should try streaming on a Steam Deck with a GPU. The only problem is the RX 580 or any AMD GPU really has a hard time when it comes to uh, encoding for Twitch stream and gameplay. So you'd really have to dumb down the footage. But 1080p streaming, gaming in 1080p, streaming in 1080p should be very doable with a RX 580 minimum. Better with a 5700 XT. Quick update on that. I'm still looking for a good price one. I almost got one for 120 bucks, but someone snaked me on eBay. But I really want to try to get that 5700 XT very as low as I can because I really feel like that's going to be the perfect matchup for Steam Deck. It's going to be slightly better than the RX 580. Remember, the issue is our bandwidth over the M.2 to PCI X16 slot. That connection is just not the most efficient. I would, I think I've seen some people say it was like 30% less efficient than a direct uh, connection to the motherboard but it is what it is that's not what this video is about it's about streaming a steam deck to a steam deck and yes you can do it and then yes it takes a lot of dongles should i do i suggest doing it no but i think what we learned in this video is steam decks are capable guys thank you so much for watching um working still on the mark 8 backplate that should be out in the next couple weeks um i completely did a redesign not going to be the best looking thing but boy i think this is going to be just efficient and if you really want to help out this channel go ahead and visit us at diypoppy.net uh pick up a mark 7 backplate man they are the coolest running backplates out there um still haven't tested it on the oled but on the lcd version it is amazing and you pick that up at diypoppy.net and I think I'm gonna reduce the price from $37.99 back to $34.99 because now that they're printed all in one solid piece, they are way more cost effective to print uh, with material and time so I can reduce the price. And that's all I want to do. I want it to be a good, per I want people to spend the money and feel like, okay, that was money well spent. And I feel like that $34.99 plus shipping range is exactly where I want to be. We're slightly above like the JSOC stuff. And I know we don't have the fit and feel as the JSOC stuff. The kit is all about just bang for your buck. How much cooling performance can you get at your Steam Deck? And to add to that, this Steam Deck right here is actually overclocked. Because this one's on Windows. And if you want to know how to do that, uh, I can do a video on that. How to overclock your Steam Deck while running Windows. This one's going to be, this Steam Deck is going to be running external graphics cards. So we're going to do some testing between overclock, non-overclock. But this OLED over here is still running stock. Unfortunately, right now, unless I put Windows on there, I have not found a workaround to overclock it. If you keep it on Windows, it's super chill. Never updates. And then you could just rock it as is. So you're gonna get a secondary Steam Deck for like a setup or desktop or something like that. If you put Windows on it, oh my God, 
your life is so much more chill you can overclock it and all that good stuff and you don't have to worry about breaking it because you're going to have a mark 7 backplate um because it's going to keep it nice and cool guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one